Asteroids, meteoroids, meteors, meteorites, and comets are, in the most basic description, space rocks of different sizes and locations that orbit the Sun. These rocks are often made of minerals that contain silicates, which are made of silicon and oxygen, as well as heavy metals like nickel and iron. An asteroid is an irregularly shaped rock that orbits the Sun. In our solar system, most are found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. An asteroid is smaller than a dwarf planet, but larger than a meteoroid. An asteroid's size varies anywhere from 1 meter to 530 kilometers. To be classed as a dwarf planet, an asteroid would need to be large enough that its own gravity rounds it into a spherical shape. Celestial naming is a controversial topic. As astronomy progresses and we find out more and more about the universe, details and definitions begin to change and become more refined. Ceres is a good example of this. It was the first asteroid discovered and held the title of largest asteroid until 2006 when it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. However, many still refer to it as an asteroid. A meteoroid is the same as an asteroid, but smaller, its size varying from 1 meter to as small as a mote of dust. If and when a meteoroid or an asteroid travels through the atmosphere of Earth or another planet, it is called a meteor. As the rock makes its way through the atmosphere, the friction causes it to burn up. This causes the air around it to heat and glow, producing a visible light that when viewed from Earth looks like a star shooting across the sky. Because of this, they are often called shooting stars. If several of these meteors, or shooting stars, are visible at once, then it is called a meteor shower. If a meteor doesn't completely vaporize on its way through the atmosphere and hits the surface of the planet, it would then be referred to as a meteorite. The Shelyabinsk meteor is another example of tricky celestial nomenclature. It impacted with the Earth in 2013, before entering the Earth's atmosphere, it measured 20 meters long, making it a small asteroid. As it progressed through the atmosphere, it was called a meteor, and when it hit the surface of the Earth, it was called a meteorite. However, though meteorite is currently its correct name, when referring to it, most still call it the Shelyabinsk meteor. A comet is made of rock and ice, and is typically a few kilometers in diameter. When a comet's orbit brings it close to the Sun, it heats up and spews dust and gases to form a giant glowing head larger than most planets. Pressures coming from the Sun can form what looks like a long bright tail. Comets actually have two tails, one of dust and one of gas. These tails can stretch hundreds of thousands of kilometers. There are short period and long period comets. A short period comet takes less than 200 years to orbit the Sun. Any comet that takes longer than that is called a long period comet. These comets can take as long as 30 million years to finish a full orbit. This is because they are traveling all the way to the outermost part of our solar system called the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is a spherical layer of icy objects surrounding our sun. 